na mkaribu tena mtazamaji unazidi kutazama taarifa za leo mashinani siku ya leo Mtazamaji uhasama kati ya naibu wa rais William Ruto na Kinara wa Nasr ila Udinga umechipuza upya wabunge wa chama chake Udinga cha ODM wamefufu upinzani mkali kati ya wawili hao na wa upande wa William Ruto wakijitokeza na kuitaka tume uiano na maridhiano NCIC wachukulie hatua wabunge hao kwa kile wanachokidai kuwa matamshi uchochezi kwenye taarifa ya wanahabari hapo jana Jeff Kirui anatathmini zaidi Wanasema katika siasa hakuna maadui wa kudumu. Lakini kauli hii haijatimia baina ya naibu rais William Ruto na kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga. Tangu Ruto na Raila wakosane baada ya uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka elfu mbili na saba hawajawahi sameyana. Kivuli cha wandani wawili waliochapisha kurasa za siasa katika taifa la Kenya kimesalia kupotea. Masahibu wakisalia kuwa mahasimu na sasa uhasama huu unaonekana kuzinduliwa upya miaka kumi baadaye miezi miwili tu baada ya rais Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga kuafikia kuweka tofauti zao kando na kufanya kazi pamoja Ruto comes out as an angry and bitter man looking for revenge Kenyans have a problem trusting their country and their children with such a bitter and seemingly vengeful man Ruto has openly threatened the family of President Daniel Arab Moy if the family does not give him political support. William Ruto is the one who almost made uh, uh, Raila. The president, that is the only president presidency that uh, Raila can stand today and say it was stolen from him. So to start now accusing William Ruto of they've worked together, William, this country knows William Ruto as a performer in Ministry of Education. This country knows William Ruto as a performer in um, a Ministry of uh, Agriculture. Ministry, in fact, he reduced, the, he reduced the cost of fertilizer. Many, Kenyans know William Ruto from when he was an assistant minister in the office of president. He's come a long way for us to, for now, someone to come and define him as a warmonger. Wadau wa William Ruto sasa wakitoa wito kwa tume ya uiano na utangamano wa kitaifa NCIC kuwachukulia hatua wabunge hao wa ODM kwa msingi kwamba matamshi yao ni ya chuki. And it is very unfair for them to use the the tribal card at this moment when the nation is trying to come together. The issue of a few disgruntled uh, uh, ODM vuvuzelas uh, making noise attacking the deputy president of this country I think is uncalled for. As members of parliament, we must be on the forefront to support the economic transformation agenda for this country. Mvutano huu kati ya wadao wa Raila Odinga na wale wa naibu rais William Ruto unaofiwa kwamba uende ikasambaratisha makubaliano kati ya rais Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga hata kabla ya jopo lilobuniwa kuangazia mazungumzo kati ya wawili hao haijaanza kazi rasmi. Lakini je, kichochezi cha uhasama huu kati ya Ruto na Raila ni kipi? Sasa tunatuamini kwamba Raila yeye anaangalia hapa lingine. Hii 2022 we realize that they cannot compete with uh, William Samoy Ruto they are resol resorting to um marshalling and uh, uh, and scaring communities that live in uh, Rift Valley how wana ODM wana hakika Raila atasimama 2022 na wanaona mpinzani wake ni William Ruto na ambaye walikuwa wameamini kwamba ile handshake imemzama yeye Ruto sasa wakiona anatoka ndani ya maji anaibuka na kwa makali basi kidogo wanakuwa na waziwazi. J, Rais Kenyatta atadhibiti chombo vipi huku vita vya kisiasa baina ya mirengo ya naibu wake William Ruto na wale wa kakake wa siasa Raila Odinga vinavyozidi kushika kasi. Jeff Kirui KTN News. Na zaidi ya umini 500 wa kanisa la Katoliki wamepanga safari hadi nchini Uganda ili kuhudhuria siku ya kuwasherekea waliowaga dunia kwa sababu za kidini. Umini hao waliondoka nchini Kenya ili kujiunga na wenzao wa Uganda kwa sherehe hiyo itakayofanyika tarehe tatu mwezi Juni kulingana na kasisi Jasa Soyogi kutoka Kitale anayeongoza kundi hilo la watu tisini kutoka Lodwa Bungoma Kakamega na Kitale walianza safari hiyo katika kanisa la Kikatoliki la Malik la Maliki katika eneo la Tanzoia Oyogi amesema kuwa madhumuni ya msafara huo ya, huo ni kuliombea taifa la Kenya Tuni 
Safari ya mwaka huu tutachukua siku 21. Safari hii umuhimu wake ni sisi kujiombea na pia kuombea familia zetu na kuombea nchi yetu, kuombea wale wote ambao wametueleza tuweze kuwakumbuka katika sala. Na mwaka huu tumebarikiwa kwa sababu tumejumuika majimbo karibu manne, jimbo la Kitale, jimbo la Lodwa, jimbo la jimbo kuu la Tororo na pia jimbo la Bungoma na jimbo la Kakamega. Kwa hivyo tumekuja pamoja kama familia moja ili kutembea pamoja na kusali pamoja. Natoka jimbo la Kakamega e, kwa kutembea miguu nilianza kitambo. Huu ni mwaka wangu wa saba nikitembea na mguu. Na shukuru ninaenda kwa kushukuru Mungu kwa, ma, kwa umbali ambayo amenitoa. Nimepata kutembea na dada zangu, watumishi wenzangu pia kutoka Lodwa angalau wanne na ninajua na ninatarajia mwaka kesho kulingana na mpango na support ile tunapata kutoka kwa baba parokia wetu kule Lodwa ninajua tutakuwa timu kubwa na perhaps hasa tutasimama sana tukitumia ile ba, tutatembea sana tukitumia ile barabara ya Lokiriama so, naomba mtuombe hasa wakati huu pia naenda tukiombea sana shida ya peace ambayo iko kati ya Turkana na Pokot tunaombea amani katika hizo mipaka za Waturkana na Pokot imani ndio narudisia Mungu sikurani imani ila alinipea na kwa natama na naona mwenyewe tena akanipea nguvu naona iko na nguvu nitembe na kutembea hapana naona kama ati niogope ama ati nini hapana hata ati nifikirie kasi yangu ama watoto nyumbani hapana watoto ni macharani kuwaombea na mtazamaji hivi sasa tunajiunga naye mwanahabari wetu Elvis Kosgi kutoka kaunti ya Wasingishi ambapo shughuli za kuondoa mawe katika barabara ya kutoka Iten kuelekea Kabarnet zinaendelea. Barabara hiyo iliharibika juzi na kutatiza usafiri. Elvis hujambo na karibu sana kwenye taarifa za leo mashinani. Hebu tupashe mengi zaidi. Na mdoshuhuli ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea tangu jana mchana kutwa ambapo tutaarifiwa usiku wa kuamkia leo mawe kutoka nyanda za juu iliweza kuanguka hasa katika maeneo hale na kama unaviona iliweza kuvunja baadhi ya maeneo ambayo inatumika kwamba katika barabara kuu inayounganisha Iten hadi Kabarnet ambayo iko katika kaunti ya Baringo ni shughuli ambayo kwa kweli iliweza kuwatatiza wakazi lakini kama wanavyosema kwamba wadau husika hasa wa kaunti wameweza kuleta tinga tinga ile kama unaviona na imeweza kuondoa matope mawe ambayo yalikuwa yamejikusanya pale na ikaweza kutatiza shughuli za kiri lakini wenyeji sasa mtazamaji samahani kwa hizo picha za Elvis Kosge manake zinakufa guns lakini ni taarifa ambayo tutakuwa tunakupa mingi zaidi kuihusu na tupashe mingi zaidi ni epi ambayo wanajiri na hasa kutokana na mvua ambayo inazidi kuharibu maeneo mbalimbali kutokana na mafuriko mtazamaji Tunarejelea hii taarifa ambapo zaidi ya waumini mtazamaji samahani lakini tarehe 25 wa ya mwezi Mei kila mwaka inafahamika kama siku ya mawasiliano Afrika siku ya mawasiliano Afrika na ni siku ambayo ilibuniwa huko Lagos nchini Nigeria kutafakari mchango wa mawasiliano kwa ustawi wa Afrika nchini Tanzania chama kichanga cha maafisa uhusiano na umma kimedhamiria kuitimu siku hiyo kutathmini mchango wa taaluma ya mawasiliano na umma kuelekea Tanzania ya viwanda kabla ya mwaka 2025 Raja Bahasan na maelezo zaidi Wiki ya mawasiliano Afrika kwa mara ya pili inaadhimishwa katika mataifa mengi ya Afrika kama Nigeria, Afrika Kusini na hapa nchini Tanzania. Hata hivyo Tanzania inaadhimisha wiki hii ikiwa na chama kichanga kabisa cha maafisa wa uhusiano na umma. Kama ilivyo ilivyo nchi zingine za Afrika na duniani. Sisi Tanzania East Africa sisi ndio tulikuwa tumechelewa kuwa na chama cha maafisa wa uhusiano na mawasiliano Tanzania. Ukienda Kenya wanaacho kuanzia mwaka 79 kitu PRSK Public Relations Society of Kenya. Ukienda Uganda wanao wana, wana frau. Ukienda Rwanda wanayo. Ukienda Afrika Kusini wanao kinda nchi nchi za Asia na Ulaya. Loti Makuza afisa uhusiano na umma ametuambia wiki ya mawasiliano ni nafasi muhimu kwao na kwa jamii wanaoitumikia. 
wanatathmini mchango wao kuelekea Tanzania viwanda. Lengo kuu la kwa ita ni kuja ku assess eh, kuangalia umuhimu wa maafisa usiano either serikali ama private sector katika ajenda muhimu ya maendeleo ya, ya viwanda. Wiki ya mawasiliano Afrika inafanyika Afrika na ulimwenguni kote Mei 25 kila mwaka. Ni ya ikiwa kwa masisha Afrika na weledi wa mawasiliano kwa ustawi wa bara la Afrika. Rajabu Hassan, KT News, Dar es Salaam. Na tukirejea hapa nchini ni kuwa wa thriwa wa mkasa wa solai wanazidi kunungunika fedha walizopewa na shirika la, la Red Cross wakidekua haziwezi kutosheleza mahitaji yao Kama anavyotueleza mwanahabari wetu Elvis Lagat, shirika limejitetea kwamba pesa walizotoa si fidia ila bali msaada wa kuwezesha wa thriwa kurejelea maisha yao ya kawaida. Suala la fidia kwa waadhiriwa wa mkasa wa Solai linaendelea kujitokeza wiki mbili baada ya bwawa la Patel kuvunja ukuta zake na kusababisha maafa na uharibifu mkubwa. Kevin Mtai wa umri wa miaka 30 anasimulia kwa uzuni jinsi licha ya kupoteza makazi na mali nyingine radhaa aliyopata haijamtosha. Hii shamba mnaona hapa ilifagiliwa na maji yote mahindi yote ilikuwa sawa. Ma kila kitu ilikuwa sawa ile mahindi ilikuwa ilikuwa vile mnaona hizi za pande vile ziko sasa vile hii hii demia pande vile ile pasuka maji kapitia hapa hapa ndio njia ya maji na sasa vile hii maneno ya maji tisha tukaenda camp ku camp huko Solai Boys vile tule camp watu wa survey wakakuja nilikuwa huko nikapigiwa simu nikakuja wakakuja wakaangalia asara wakaandika na wakaenda hakuna kitu kingine walituambia Laba Niegon pia ambaye ni mkulima katika eneo la Endao pia ajarishwa na suala hilo la fidia. Ilifagiliwa na hata saizi kuna mamawe sana. Sijui kama italimika na ma italimika wakati mungine. Na kwa hii nyasi, uwa napata nyasi kwa nikifunga bells ni 400 bells times 250 kwa wa mwaja. Kwa mara mbili nafuna mara mbili. Manager wa Red Cross katika bonde la ufa Nicholas Kemboi kwa njia ya simu amesema kwamba msaada wa kifedha uliotolewa na shirika hilo ni wa mara moja pekee hadi pale ambapo waadhiriwa wataweza kujimudu. Elfas Lagat, KTN News kutoka County ya Nakuru. Na viongozi wa muungano wa hadhri wasu wamefika mbele ya kamati ya bunge kuhusu elimu ili kutoa mapendekezo yao kuhusu marekebisho kwenye kipenge kuhusu mswada wa vio vikuu wa mwaka mbili na kuminanane yaliyo kwenye awamu ya pili. Manahabari wetu sisile wa kesho na junga nasi sasa kutoka bungeni na kutufamisha mingi zaidi ya liojiri kule bungeni. Hujambo wa kesho na karibu sana kwenye tarifa za leo mashinani siku ya leo. Ni epi ambayo tunatarajia labda kabla ya siku kamilika siku ya leo. Na shukran sana wambua ni kweli hawa ni wale wanachama wa kutetea masole ya ohadhiri wa vio viku wa kiongozo wa nae katibu mkuu Constantine Wasonga ambao wameza kufika mbele ya kamati ya bunge kuhusu elimu kuzungumzia swala nzima la uongozi wa vio viku. Kumbuka ni swala tata ambalo limekua likikumbwa a, na maswala tele lakini kwenye marekibisho hae mekua kipendekeza kwamba a, Chancela yotu wa chuo kikuu, awe ya kiteuliwa moja kwa moja, au awe ya jina lake lue linateuliwa na ile kamati ya uma ya, ya kuajiri wafanya kazi. Lakini wao wanayo mapendekezo tofauti ambapo wangependekeza kwamba kuwe na kamati malum ambayo itabuniwa na lile baraza la vio viku kuweza kumteua chancela yotu wa chuo kikuu. Lakini niko nae Constantine Wasonga bila shaka teza kutueleza ni yapi ambaye ya mechipuka kwenye kikao hicho ambacho kimekamilika saacha chetu zilizopita. Karibu sana bwana Constantine Wasonga kwenye KTN News. Tu mmetoa mapendekezo ambayo kidogo yameonekana kuwashawishi wabunge uh, kwenye marekebisho ya mswada huu wa mwaka 2018. Je, ni yapi hayo? Uh, we came before this committee. And what we are saying as a union we are against public service commission usurping the powers of university councils. What we are proposing is that there should be a such committee to select the vice chancellor, not public service commission, because universities are autonomous. We don't want the public service commission to meddle in the affairs 
of university management. Universities world over are autonomous institutions. And what we are saying, the university councils can have a such committee, and this such committee should be represented by academicians, alumni associations, unions, students, to identify whoever is suitable to be a vice chancellor in any particular university, not public service commission. Two, we are saying, as a union, we are against five-year non renewal term for vice chancellors. We are saying that vice chancellors should be given opportunity to renew their term if they perform. As a union, we are proposing three years renewable ones through a competitive process. For chancellors, we've also given a proposal. We want the appointment of chancellors to also be subjected to members of the university community so that outsiders do not decide who becomes a chancellor in a particular university. Thank you very much. Pengine haya mapendekezo yenu yamechochewa na nini? Um mpaka mkafikia kwamba basi kuwe na marekebisho haya mbona isiwe jinsi ilivyo? That was not our proposal. It was proposed by members of parliament as we were giving our input and we have given our input which we think is the best because we are members of the university community and we understand the university better. Asante sana. Naam, wambua huyo ni Constantine Wasonga ambaye ni katibu mkuu wa muungano wa Uwasu hapo akijaribu kueleza mapendekezo yao ambayo wameza pia kueleza wao uh, wanashikilia vipi wangeondelea vipi. Kumbuka marekebisho haya yako kwenye awamu ya pili. Uh, Uma inatakikana kutoa mapendekezo yao kabla pengine ya kufanya marekebisho yote ama mswada huu kuelekea kujadiliwa kwenye bunge na benki, pengine iwapo basi uh, mswada huu utapita ama marekebisho hayo yatapita basi wenda tukaona mabadiliko liko mengi kwenye vyo vikuu vya umma hapa nchini wambua na labda wa kesho nimesikia ukimuuliza bwana Wesonga pale swala moja labda ni nini ambacho kilichangia wao kufika mbele ya kamati ama wao pia kuwa na pendekezo lao labda ni mfumo upi ambao unatumika sasa katika kuwateua machenzela na tatizo ni wapi na mwambuo ilivyo kwa sasa ni kwamba uh, machansela uchaguliwa na baraza ama jina lao upelekwa katika uh, uchaguliwa na baraza majina matano kisha rais uhuru kenyata uh, mwishoe ama rais yote ambaye aliye kwenye kiti huwa na uhuru wa kuchagua mmoja ambaye ataongoza chuo kikuu fulani lakini wao wanavyopendekeza ni kwamba kumbuka ma, ma, kwenye marekebisho haya mwaka 2018 ni kwamba machansela hao wenyewe wao wakiteuli wa, wa, wa na ile tume ama kamisheni ya kitaifa ya kuajiri wafanyakazi PSC ama Public Service Commission lakini wao hawataki hivyo wanasema kwamba kuwe na kamati maalum ambayo itateuliwa na baraza kuu la vyo vikuu baraza hilo wanasema kwamba itakuwa vyema iwapo litakuwa na wale watu ambao watakuwa huru watu ambao watakuwa wamewakilishwa na seneti la vyo vikuu kutakuwa na mwakilishi kutoka tume hiyo ya kitaifa ya kuajiri wafanyakazi na vile vile uwasu wao wenyewe kama muungano tetea hadhiri wa vyo vikuu pia wawe na mwakilishi wao kisha kuteuliwa kamati maalum ambayo sasa itakuwa na mamlaka huru ya kuweza kumchagua ama kumteua uh, chancela yote wa chuo kikuu maana kwa wanavyosema ni kwamba pia hawataki iwe kama awali awali imekuwa kwamba chancela nakuwa kwa miaka mitano kisha baada ya baadhi ya miaka mitano uh, 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 anaongezewa muda zaidi wa miaka mingine mitano lakini wanasema kwamba mchakato huo uweze kugeuzwa ufanywe kwamba baada ile miaka mitano aweze kupitia um, mchakato maalum pamoja na wale wengine ambao pengine kutakuwa uh, uh, kutakuwa na watu wengine ambao watataka kupiga ku, 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 ku nafasi ile kwa hivyo uwe huru amesema kwa sasa kumekuwa na swala la ukabila kumekuwa na masuala mengi kwenye vyo vikuu kwa hivyo anasema kwamba ikiwa kutakuwa na kamati maalum ambayo itateuliwa na itakuwa huru basi bila shaka huenda kukawa na lile uh, swala ambalo litupe kukaburi asahau swala la kuwa na vyo vikuu kuwa na ukabila ambao umekuwa ukishuhudia waambua na masante sana Cecilia wa kesho kutoka bungeni bila shaka mtazamaji ni taarifa ambazo wa kesho atakuwa anakupa kwa kina katika muda eh, wa saa moja hivi katika taarifa za Kate leo na hivyo basi kukuambia mengi zaidi kuhusiana na hilo swala ni yapi ambao wanajiri labda wabunge wana yapi ya kusema kuhusiana na hayo mapendekezo ya uasu
Mtazamaji Kenya na Namibia zimebuni kamati ya kuchunguza malalamishi yaliyokuwa yametolewa na baadhi ya wauguzi wa Kenya wanaofanya kazi na Namibia ambao waliofia kuwa kandarasi zao zingekatizwa. Balozi wa Kenya nchini Namibia Isaac Njenga ameshauriana na waziri wa afya wa Namibia Bernard Aufiku kuhusiana kuwa taratibu za kisheria na mikataba iliyowekwa inazingatiwa wakati wa kuyashughulikia maslahi ya wauguzi hao. Paul Nabiswa anarifu zaidi. Baadhi ya wauguzi wa Kenya walikuwa wameingiwa na tumbo joto baada ya aliyekuwa katibu katika Wizara ya Afya kutoa ilani kuwa kandarasi za wauguzi wa kigeni nchini Namibia hazingetolewa upya tena ili kutoa nafasi kwa raia wa Namibia wenye utaalamu huo kuchukua nyadhifaizo. Na kutokana na hayo balozi wa Kenya nchini Namibia Isaac Njenga alifanya mkutano wa dharura na waziri wa afya kuhusu hilo. Kenya ndio rafiki na wauguzi wengi zaidi wa kutoka nje zaidi ya wauguzi moja tukachukua nafasi ile ya jukumu nime la kuongea na wizara na mambo yale yakabatilishwa. Na ya kusemekana ya kwamba jambo lile halitavusa wa Kenya lakini litagusa uh, watu wengine kutoka wageni wengine kutoka wauguzi wengine kutoka nchi za mbali. Lakini hivi majuzi pia ni kama kukawa na mbadiliko katika ule msimamo na tukaona tukapitoa na wizara kukawa pia kuna taarifa ambazo zimetoka ambazo zilikuwa ni kama zinakuja kukiuka ama kugeuza taarifa iliyokuwa imetoka ya kuwalinda wa Kenya kulingana na e, mkataba tulionao naam na kwa sababu hiyo auguzi wa Kenya wakawa na wasiwasi mkubwa jambo ambalo waziri wa afya na Namibia anasema litashughulikiwa kwa tahadhari kubwa so we basically pull back and say okay you continue working as as normal um and then when notice need to be given it will be done in terms of the stipulated processes and and, and procedures in the memorandum of understanding akizungumza kwa njia ya simu kutoka mji mkuu wa Namibia Windhoek Balozi Njenga amesema kuwa hakuna sababu ya wauguzi wanaohudumu Namibia kuwa na hofu kwa sababu matakwa yao yatazingatiwa kikamilifu na wahusika. Kaketi pamoja na kuform technical team ya, ku, ya, ya, ya kuona ni vipi hata wa, mahali ambapo kandarasi ya zika ruhusiwa pengine kukua renew kwa sababu pengine wauguzi wa kina Libya ambao wamehitimu wanahitaji nafasi bila ambavyo tunaweza kuifanya kwa njia ambayo ina utu na njia inazingatia eh, eh, mambo ambayo ama, ama mpangilio ambao unaweza katika eh, Namibia imekuwa na ushirikiano wa kidiplomasia na Kenya tangu siku za rais wa kwanza wa nchi hiyo Sam Nujoma alipochukua uongozi wa nchi hiyo kutoka kwa Beberu mwaka 1990. Serikali ya Kenya imelichukulia suala la wahudumu wa afya kwa uzito kwani hivi majuzi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa Cuba kuwatafuta madaktari na mkataba ukawekwa ili waje Kenya kutibu maradhi mbalimbali na kutoa mafunzo zaidi kwa madaktari wa humo nchini. Paul Nabiswa, KTN Leo. Na tukiachana na uguzi ni kwa serikali ya kaunti ya Samburu imenunua ngamia wengi kwenye mradi wa, wa kupigana na makali ya njaa. Ngamia hao wanatolewa kwa familia mbili na hamsini kwenye vitongoji 30 ili kuboresha usalama wa chakula. Kaunti hiyo ni miongoni mwa kaunti zilizohangaishwa na ukame msimu uliopita. Naibu gavana wa Samburu Julius Lesetu ameshawishi wenyeji kuwatunza ngamia hao. Mradi huo umegarimu serikali ya Samburu takriban milioni 20 na utendelea hadi kila familia ipate ngamia. Ndio maana tukawapa leo at least tumeona tukipewa watu wetu ngamia. Tunalenga ajenda moja ya ajenda 4 ambayo ni food security. Kwa hivyo tuko na uhakika itaenda ikawasaidia uh, watu wa Samburu East na Jote vile eh hata saisi jilali kikuja inga mietu inatusaidia sisi kwa sababu ina ni ngamia peke yake hata ndio inaikufi kwa kwa sababu ya jirali kama mbusi na ngombe baada sasa ya miaka moja sasa hiyo ngamia yangu imesaa na ikisaa tayari tuko na tuko na masiwa hata hata tunaisa tunaisa share tuna jirani these animals are, are really good and can adapt uh, in this lowland there is to take care of this livestock and be able uh, to even uh, benefit the, the generations that will come. 
uh, instead of selling. This is uh, already an, uh, an opportunity for them to to get the cameras and relieve themselves from the uh, drought-stricken uh, community. Na kamati ya haki na katiba itakuwa kifanya vikao na wananchi kote nchini kuhusu mabadiliko ya katiba. Kamati hiyo hileo iko katika ukumbi wa jiji la Nairobi. Representation in the National Legislature. The Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2018 ensures that women are fully involved in representation and lawmaking at the national level. And uh, Article 4 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the Republic of Kenya shall be a multi-party democratic state founded on the national values and principles of governance, governance referred to in Article 10. The first pillar of the Jubilee Coalition policy agenda uh, that is transforming Kenya Securing Kenya's Prosperity 2013 to 2017, commonly referred to as Jubilee Manifesto, was unity and under the section on women empowerment and equal share, the administration uh, made, made the following commitment. The Jubilee government is committed to promoting and protecting the role of women in society and we will fully implement the one-third rule. It is time to keep the promise and demonstrate to inclusion and national cohesion and development that cannot occur without women. And the third reason, Kenya must reclaim her place as a leader in the region. Kenya is the last in the East African community in terms of women's representation in parliament. Despite having some of the most educated and accomplished women on the continent, Kenya is the last in women's representation in national legislature. And Kenya cannot offer regional leadership while failing to adhere to its national, regional, and international commitments, and certainly not leaving the majority of its population out of leadership. Um, for the first reason, we cannot afford it. What we can't afford as it, as is to continue to exclude women. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, and uh, of, of statistics, women and men in Kenya, facts and figures, 2017 booklet, women provide 80% of Kenya's farm labor and manage 40% of the smallholder farms, but own only 1% of land, and receive just 10% of the available credit. This cannot change without women legislators in parliament to change the laws and advocate for policies that give women greater ownership of and access to resources. Women are tax taxpayers and significant contributors to our economic pro prosperity. Without women's representation in parliament and leadership, women will continue to receive less to credit and resources, resources sorry, which will decrease their contribution to the economy. Kenya cannot afford to support women, especially in the area of food security, with the important role women, women smallholder farms make to feeding the nation. The big four security agenda cannot be achieved sustainably without unlocking additional resources for women, which requires women in all levels of leadership. And that is our submission. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, move to bill number two. What is your position? Our position as well, uh, we are supporting the amendment to uh, from August to December. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. That is uh, well. We can now move to the next group number.
na mtazamaji hizo hapo ni taarifa kutoka bungeni na bila shaka taarifa ambazo wanahabari wetu wa masuala ya siasa watakuwa natukupa mengi zaidi baadaye na ni yapi ambayo yamejiri kule bungeni basi ikiwa ni saa sita kasoro dakika tano mtazamaji saa za Afrika Mashariki ningependa nipate kopo la maji lakini nikirejea saa sita kamili itakuwa ni sehemu ya pili ya taarifa za leo mashinani ambapo tutakupasha mengi zaidi kutoka maeneo mbalimbali humu nchini pamoja pia na mjadala wetu kuhusiana na uaviaji mimba ama kutoa mimba ukipenda na tuna mgeni wetu siku ya leo ambaye tutakuwa tunazungumza naye ni wakili Christine Kungu kutoka FIDA mtazamaji tutakuwa tuna zungumza na kudadisi ni wapi ambapo labda kama taifa tunaelekea kuhusiana na hili swala la uaviaji mtazamaji hivyo basi naomba usiende mbali <tune> 